Right, hi guys. Welcome to another moral of the story. So, I'm a little bit emotional today, mostly because I've been tired for about a week sorting out orders on eBay and buying up stock to take home with me and stuff like that. And uh, today I had a first lie in for about a month and uh, just been hearing good things getting some nice messages on Facebook and stuff. Didn't expect that. I normally get up to a, like a ton of hate messages. No, not a ton. But I'm always wary about getting hate messages or conflicts regarding, what's the word? Not confrontational, there's another word. Controversial, that's it. Regarding controversial issues. And uh, logged on today and I've just got a ton of positive messages and friendly support from friends I haven't heard of for ages, mostly because uh, Facebook went offline last night for five hours. And when they came back on, everyone was pleased to see me again, which was quite uplifting. Anyway, I watched this video today about a dog being rescued on a railway track, and I'll post the video at the end of this video so you can watch it or I can put a link in the description but it um, just listening out because I can hear my mum in the other room so it reminded me of a time reminded me of a time when uh, my mum's little dog was still alive and his name was Todd and he lived till he was about 15 and a half years old he lived till he was about 15 and a half years old, but um, he was going deaf and was partially blind in one eye. And he was getting fits, so he wasn't very happy in his old age. But anyway, it was summer and uh, he normally followed me everywhere when I'd come and visit my mum's house. He was just like my little shadow, Toddles we used to call him. You know, he'd follow me in the bathroom and follow me in the bedroom at night and I'd have to send him out to his own bed and... He'd come in in the night and push my door open and get on the bed with me and just follow me everywhere, basically. Could take him on a walk and I hardly needed the lead because he was so trustworthy and all that stuff. So we'd, we'd leave the front door open, go outside, and he wouldn't, he'd never try and run away or leave the house or anything like that because he'd just stick around us all the time, so it wasn't a problem. Never jumped over the fence or over the gates or anything like that. Anyway, I'd left the front door open, went out to put something in the bin or something, came back in, couldn't find him, and I was like, Toddles, Toddles. <whistles> and he didn't come, so I went, went outside to look for him, thinking he'd just be standing outside waiting for me. Looked down towards the garage and he wasn't there. Looked up the path towards the end of the drive, and I just saw him disappearing at the end of the drive. And I shouted at him, and I knew he was partially deaf, so I shouted it like my best growly, gravelly, loudest shout. And I went, Todd! Like, stop right now. And he heard me, and he looked back over his shoulder like this. And he turned around and he carried on walking towards the main road. So the end of our drive is at the pavement. So the end of Mum's drive... It goes directly to the pavement. There's a three feet pavement, if that, and then a busy main road. And it was in the summer and the road was busy. It was like three or four in the afternoon, if that, and traffic was just going past constantly. So I shouted at him. So he looked back over his shoulder, gave me a dirty look, and then carried on walking. I was like, oh, shit. And I'll tell you, I didn't have time to think about it or analyse it, but I ran to the end of the drive from Mum's front door, which must be 45 feet plus, and I covered it in about two seconds flat. Now, I don't know how I did it, but I just rem remember that um, form and style were not important, and that running as fast as I can was important, and it felt weird because I don't remember my legs touching the ground. And it felt like, it literally felt like I was running on air and somehow I covered the distance and I got to Todd 
and I grabbed him just as he was leaving the end of the pavement, grabbed him by the scruff of the neck, turned him round and marched him back inside. One more second and he'd have been on the main road and he wouldn't have made it. So these dogs, I don't know, but he wasn't having a happy old age and I wonder if he was trying to end it suddenly by going and playing in the traffic. But anyway, that's the moral of the story today is when, you, when you're in the 11th hour, when you're on the spot and you don't have time to think about it, act. Because when you act, there's something in you or something in heaven or something in spirit that acts with you and you get there somehow, you get there on time. Anyway, watch the video and you'll uh, see what I mean. Oi! Oi! Is there a way down like that gate there? Wait, there's no owner though. They might have like a number on the collar or something. Oi! Oi! Come here! Come here! Oi! He's lit. He's just wandering around. Yeah, these tracks aren't like. Uh, a tra no, a train comes along here like once a day, like every day. Oi, is he stuck? His lead is caught under the track. He's not moving. Excuse me? Oi, Excuse me. how do you get down there? Oi, how do you get down there? If dude? I go down that way, is there like a fence to get through? Dude, I can hear yeah, the train. It's not worth it. Just leave it there. Oh my god, he's on the track. Just leave dude. it there. Dude, we're getting killed. Oh dude. Get off the track! No, just leave it! Get off the track! Leave it! Oh my god! Oh my god. Right guys, that's my little video. Thanks very much for watching. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe and share it with your friends if you feel inspired by it. Um, we don't get many views on this channel these days, so uh, any help or support you can give would be greatly appreciated. That's my little video. See you on the next one. From Asia. From, from.